I, I came out of college as an infantry officer. I was airborne ranger, infantry, all you can be, um, working hard. Bob Cassily began his life in public service serving in the military, the Maryland National Guard and U.S. Army Reserve, and after 9-11, deployed to Iraq. We were in a pretty volatile province. We were the most dangerous province and the most dangerous part of the war. Cassily says those experiences shape the man he is now. The lessons I learned uh, make me a, a far better governing official than had I not done that. Cassily served on the Hartford County Council before going to Iraq and has been a Maryland state senator representing Hartford County since 2015. Pushed back against ideas that other folks didn't stand up to talk about, particularly on the, the uh, policing bills from year before last uh, was my main hit in the in the Maryland Senate. If elected county executive, he says he'd work to address parents' concerns about education. The next Harford County executive will appoint three members to the school board. At the end of the day, um, parents are pretty smart. They understand how to teach their children. They understand how to raise their children and give their children good values. Right. The state needs to give them reading, writing, and arithmetic and, and, and leave the, the values, the, the religious values, the moral values to the parents. Let them have their own, their own say so in that. With Interstate 95 cutting through the middle of Harford County, there is pressure to increase development and there is also strong resistance to development from residents. You got to grow smart. You can't just kind of think this is, you know, 1850 and anybody want to put something up, just go ahead and do it. We've got to be real smart about this. We've got to preserve our, our heritage, our open spaces. Cassily says if elected, he'll also find ways to cut government spending and increase transparency when it comes to government contracts. You're only limited by your imagination and your desire and your commitment. In Hartford County, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. And you can learn more about this candidate and others in the WBAL-TV app. Also see the key dates you need to know and the locations of early voting sites and drop boxes. It's all in our voter's guide in the WBAL-TV app.